Hello everyone, uh, this video is about the concrete and screed. So in this video I'm gonna explain you uh, the difference between the concrete and screed, also uh, the ratio mix of both and how to calculate the volume of concrete or screed that we need. So what's the difference between concrete and screed? Well, concrete is used for construction and structural tasks. You can make a concrete floor, a foundation, concrete base for a shed in your garden, concrete pavement or a concrete pillar. While screed is applied as a top layer to a concrete base. So for example, to mix a concrete or a screed, you need to mix cement, aggregates and water. The cement and the water are the same, just the aggregates differ. So here is a sharp sand, also called a grid sand or river sand. It's more coarse than building sand or plastering sand. And this you use for concrete and also for the screed. And here is a sample of a gravel. This nothing else, just a little pebbles, uh, 10 to 20 millimeters in diameter. You need to add them to the uh, concrete mix and this makes the concrete stronger. Instead of buying separate sharp sand and the gravel, you can buy um, a mixture of both. This is called ballast. It's a bit more expensive, but it's convenient to use. Water is a key ingredient in the concrete mix. Uh, you might wonder how much water uh, should I add to the mix? Well, it's not easy to answer as different applications need uh, different amounts of water. Some needs to be stronger, some weaker. But the general rule is uh, if you add uh, more water to the concrete, so the concrete become weaker. If you add less water, the concrete uh, will be stronger. So if you're not sure how much water you should add to your concrete mix, uh, the first mix, so I would suggest to <clears throat> put a 5 liter of water into the concrete mixer before you add any aggregates or any cement and then gradually add water as you add the aggregates and uh, cement. So at the end you've got the proper mix. Record uh, how much water did you add to the first mix and then you can repeat it in the other mixes. As different concrete applications require different uh, ratio mix, so here is a few samples of the ratio mix of concrete. So as you see on this photo, uh, this is the ratio mix for the exterior steps of paths. Uh, we need a strong, sim uh, strong concrete, so the ratio mix is one cement and three and a half ballasts. But a bag of cement can weigh 20 kilo and bag of ballast can weigh 25 kilo, 20 kilo or even 30 kilo. So to mix the correct parts of the cement and the aggregates, uh, don't rely on the bags or the weight of the bags. Um, the good practice is to take a big empty bucket um, put the same amount, the same level of the cement and the aggregates separately, obviously, and put it then into the concrete mixer. So as you see, the exterior steps or paths, let's say in a garden, it needs one part of cement and three and a half parts of ballast. And this is a strong concrete. Or alternative to this is uh, one part of cement, one and a half part of sharp sand, and two and a half parts of gravel. Floors or concrete bases uh, needs medium concrete and you mix uh, one part of cement and four parts of ballast. Or instead of this you can mix one part cement, two parts of sharp sand and three parts of gravel. Foundation is required a standard concrete so you need uh, one part of cement and five parts of ballast or one part of cement, uh, two and a half parts of sharp sand and three and a half parts of gravel. So now I'd like to show you how to calculate the volume of the concrete that we need. This is just a sample. Let's say we need to lay a concrete base under the shed in our garden. Let's say the concrete base will be four meters long and two and a half meters wide. So 2.5 meters by 4 meters, this gives us 10 square meters. 
So that's the area of the concrete base. So we've got two dimensions now, the length and the width. Now we need to add the third dimension, there will be the thickness of the concrete base. So let's say the thickness is going to be 10 centimeters. So now when you multiply all these three dimensions, so you receive exactly one cubic meter. So now you might wonder how much weight uh, one cubic meter of concrete. Well, if you want to bring all of this stuff into your garden, so I've got bad news for you. Uh, the one cubic meter of concrete weighs uh, two and a half tons. And if you intend to mix it in a concrete mixer, then you need 350 kg of cement, 700 kg of sand, 1200 kg of gravel and 150 liters of water. Here is a sample of a concrete base. So the floor is a concrete and we want to lay down some tiles or laminate. The concrete surface might be flat and level, but most likely is a bit rough. So to make it nice and smooth, we need to uh, put a layer of screed on top of this concrete. How thick the screed can be? Well, it all depends how we need to lay it. There are two types. One is a bonded screed. Bonded screed is laid directly to the concrete and the thickness might be something between 25 to 40 millimeters. Unbonded screed, as the name suggests, is not bonded to the base and between the concrete and the screed there is a damp proof membrane, DPM. And the thickness of the unbonded screed could be something between 50 to 75 millimeters. The ratio mix for the uh, screed is pretty simple as you mix only cement and the sharp sand. So you need uh, one part of cement and four parts of sharp sand. There is a certain drying time uh, or curing time. Obviously it depends on some factors like humidity, temperature, the rate of airflow or water to cement ratio. But the most crucial factor of uh, drying time uh, is the thickness of the screed. So uh, there's a sample. When you put uh, the 50 mil screed, so the average uh, time to the curing time is four to six weeks. If you put 75 mil uh, screed, so the curing time is six to eight weeks. So it takes quite a lot of time sometimes when you put your final floor finish. So I think I explained you all the basic rules about the concrete and the screed. Um, I hope you find this video useful. Uh, if so, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you for watching.